in this video I'm going to be comparing a diesel van against an electric van and I want to know is it worth buying an electric van today? Now I've got lots of facts and figures and I've spent a few hours getting all these numbers together. So the first thing I have is the price. So the price for a brand new diesel NV200, these are the two vehicles I'm going to be comparing. So today I'm going to be comparing a diesel NV200 against a ENV200, which is electric. Both made by Nissan and there is a price difference. The electric is more expensive. So the diesel costs 18630 including VAT on the road. And the electric ENV200 costs 24536 and that includes the government grant. So that's a brand new 40 kilowatt hour version. So with those two figures in mind, clearly the electric one is more expensive. However, there are a number of savings that you can get with the electric version, mainly the running costs, but also tax, servicing, and I'll cover those shortly. So I'm just gonna go down this Excel spreadsheet that I made line by line and explain how I've come to each price. And at the end, I've got a graph which shows at what point is it worth buying an electric vehicle? So buying a new vehicle is, is actually the most expensive way of doing it. But we'll start with that because those figures are the most accurate. With secondhand vehicle prices, they do fluctuate. So I'll start with that, then we can move on to secondhand vehicle pricing. So if we compare a diesel NV200 against an electric ENV200 with those two starting prices, and we do an annual mileage of 10,000 miles a year, Insurance cost, which I personally compared the two, the diesel was 400 a year, but the electric was 450, and that was probably reflecting the extra listing price for the electric vehicle, and I think it is more powerful. So with an annual mileage of 10,000 miles a year, the diesel costs 12 pence a mile to run, whereas the electric vehicle costs 2.3 pence to run per mile. So that gives a total cost for the diesel of £1,200 and the electric is £230. So already we've got about £1,000 saving just, just on electricity. But then there's also tax. So the tax on the diesel is 145 but the electric is free. So there's no tax on that. The service, now the service does vary on electric and a diesel van and there's also a minor and a major service. So a major service on a diesel is £329 and a minor is £229 from Nissan main dealer. And then an electric full service, a service on electric van is £209 and a minor service is £159. So the electric service charge is cheaper. And because you'd go like, minor, major, minor, major service charges. What I've done is I've just averaged the minor and the major service and the average diesel service is 279 pounds and the average electric service is 184 pounds. So it's almost 100 pounds cheaper on average per year to have the electric. So we add that in. The MOT just put in is 40 pounds for the same both vehicles. So the running costs, this is when it starts to get interesting. Um, looking at them side by side, the diesel costs £2,064 for one year of running. So that's including fuel, tax, service, MOT and insurance. And then the same for the electric is £904. So you've got about £1,100 saving there. However, you gotta factor in that this vehicle is about six and a half thousand pounds more expensive to buy. And I wanted to know how long it would take to actually justify that payment. So how many years until that gets paid back? So I made this little bar graph and you can see gradually as, as the years go by, because the electric is so cheap to run on fuel, but the diesel is relatively expensive, the diesel cost is what is the diesel cost and the service kind of drives the price up every year. So eventually, looking at just after year five, so maybe year five and a quarter, 
that's when it would cross over and at that point it would be cheaper to own the electric. However, you would have gone five years before that when really it would have been cheaper to run the diesel and you wouldn't be restricted by the range. Even the latest electric EMV 200 only does 150 miles real range. So that is another consideration. And then what I've done is I've also looked at the figures for a three-year-old. Now, given that the van depreciation rate is fairly high, I looked on cars, I looked at Car Guru, and the de depreciation rate was something at like 63, 64% after three years. So that means a three-year-old diesel, Ian, three-year-old diesel NV200 would cost, including the VAT, 11,822. Whereas an electric ENV200 would cost 15,794. So the gap is closing down. And with those figures in the same kind of graph, the running costs would be exactly the same, insurance, all of that, mileage per year, 10,000. Now, if you buy a three-year-old electric van, it only takes about three and a half years for the saving to start working. Now, this is all based on 10,000 miles a year. 10,000 miles a year. But if you actually increase that to something like 20 or 30,000 miles a year, so the more miles you do, the quicker that crossover happens. So if you're someone who does a lot of miles, say you do 30,000 miles a year and you commute to work. So if you're doing about 30,000 miles a year um, and you buy a three-year-old electrical diesel vehicle, you'd be much better off buying an electric van because after about a year and a half, the savings start and then you're saving you're saving about three thousand pounds a year um, really on diesel cost so it would definitely i can see why lots of taxi firms and businesses have these electric vehicles it would be well worth it if you're doing high mileage so if you're doing low mileage if you're doing ten thousand miles or less it's going to take around five years just to start saving now these are all figures based on a new electric van, but if you can find an electric van that's below market value, even if it's just by 10 or 15% against the diesel, then that means you've pretty much already started the savings straight away. So I would, I would get that. So these are the figures that I have worked out and you can look at them on the screen. They're, they're about as accurate as I could get them. Um, we've actually driven the both ENV 200 24 kilowatt hour and the 40 kilowatt hour. I've done a range test video that I'll link up on the screen now, and you can click on that and you can see what happens when range gets to zero on the uh, range meter thing. So that was a really interesting project. Um, I'm really keen to get an electric van, so. It will be helpful for me and as well as, well as anyone else. Um, if you comment below with your experience and just have a look at my figures and see what you think, see if um, that crossover is about right. Um, what kind of mileage do you do? Is 10,000 miles a year reasonable? That's the kind of mileage that I do. So that's the figure I use. It seems to be a rough average. And um, I, I picked that example because that's the van I'm most interested in. I'm hoping to get an electric ENV 200, either with a 40 kilowatt hour or 24 kilowatt hour. Um, I would prefer the bigger one for the extended range. However, the reason I made this video is because I'm struggling with the additional expense it would cost and compared to the diesel, because I could get the diesel one um, and it'd still be cheaper for the first five years, including all the fuel, um, and I don't have to plug it in which is really sad because I do want to get an electric vehicle, but it does come down to cost and so that is a big consideration. Let me know what you think of the video below in the comments section and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I do lots of different projects. This is my Hydrofoil that I'm actually working from now and hopefully you're going to take it out this afternoon and do a quick test on it. But the electric van will be something else that will be featured in the future. I'm sure I will get one of these vans eventually and I'm going to turn it into a camper van so there will be lots more content around this vehicle. So camping trips and camping the camper van conversion video to come up. So I look forward to showing you that in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.